The CGIR centres were originally set up to work principally on the crops and the agricultural systems of the poorest people around the world. It's agricultural research for development impact. That means food security around the world, means reduction of poverty around the world, it means getting better use of the scarcening water resources that we've got around the world. It means halting or slowing down deforestation. Uh, and it also means tackling the big global challenges moving forward uh, around climate change. The increase in productivity growth has been diminishing over the last two decades. Previously, uh, yield growth was increasing at something like 2 to 3% per year, and that's come down to closer to 1% in recent years. We're only a couple of steps ahead of the pests and pathogens and diseases which are constantly evolving in order to, to survive. The breeders, the scientists, can produce a new variety of a crop which is, which is resistant to important diseases, so it yields much better than the previous varieties. However, it's inevitable that within maybe a decade, or sometimes even less, those pathogens and pests will catch up. So you constantly need what can be called maintenance research, simply to stay where we are. Without it, yields would start to fall. that the CGIR isn't science for the sake of science. It's not curiosity work driven by the personal interests of individual scientists. It's a consolidated global approach taking on a very serious mandate, a serious obligation to the world to, to do the research which is needed to ensure long-term food security and sustainable use of natural resources on this planet.